Hello and welcome back to the Lobo Designs channel. My name is Heather Lynn. I'm the owner of Lobo Designs and I'm here today with a tutorial and a couple freebies for you to download to follow along with me. So first things first, underneath this video, click on the link to download the set of brushes and the lettering guides that I'm including with this tutorial. Download that to the Files app on your iPad, and then you're going to want to open up your Files app wherever you saved it to, and you'll see the zip file in that folder. And what you're going to do is you're going to tap on that zip file once for it to unzip. It's going to go through the countdown, and then it'll open this folder. When you're done with this zip file, you can get rid of it if you'd like. So you can go up in here and hit select, select the zip file, and then go down here to the bottom and hit delete. So that way that's gone. And then what you're going to do is tap on this folder to open up the freebie that you just downloaded. And what this includes are a few things. I have three lettering guides in here, two of them are blank. And one of them has brush stroke practices, which have opacity. I'll show you those when we load them into Procreate. And then I'm including two free brushes with this as well, my script brush and the same script brush, but in a rainbow version. And I'll also show you how to use that. So to load these brushes into your Procreate library, all you have to do is tap on them. Mine are already in there, so I'm not going to do that step, but if these aren't already included or installed in your Procreate interface, just tap once on this brush, it'll throw it into your imported brush folder. And then you can go back into the files app. You can tap on the other brush so that it'll load in and then leave these where they are because we're going to import those into Procreate. So I'm going to jump over to Procreate and I'm right now in a blank new document. If you are on the gallery screen and you don't have a new document open, you just simply hit the plus sign up here at the top. I'm using a screen size document. So I'm going to tap screen size and I'm just going to pinch to zoom out a little bit here so you can see. Now, the first thing that we want to check is whether or not the brush imported properly. So you're going to click on your brush library. You're going to go into the folder that says imported and you're going to make sure that you have my two Lobo brushes in, in there. You're going to have Lobo script and Lobo script rainbow. So those should be in there, mine are in a different folder because I've already preloaded them onto my iPad. Next, we're going to import one of the lettering guides and I'm going to show you how to use my script brush. So you're going to pick the Lobo brush script. You can pick the rainbow one if you want to. I'm gonna be working with the black one because it's a little bit easier to follow on screen. I'm going to select the script brush and I'm going to go over here into the brush size slider and I'm gonna set it to eight. So I'm going to go here and make sure that this is at eight. And now I'm going to import one of the lettering guides. So I'm going to go up here into the actions menu. I'm going to go on the add tab. I'm going to insert a file Then I'm going to go into the folder that I just downloaded. I'm going to pick the lettering guide that says Lobo Designs brush stroke guide. And we're going to tap on that once and it's going to import that onto its own layer into Procreate. It's going to still be on the transform selection tool up here. So you're going to just unclick that so that it's not in the transform state anymore. Then you're gonna go up here into your layers panel, add a new layer by clicking the plus sign, and now you can start lettering. I have mine set to true black. You can tap on this color here. If you're over here somewhere, you can just double tap on the bottom to get yourself to true black. And then these are the practice strokes. And I have arrows in here as well to show you how to follow the stroke. So going up and then coming down with a heavier pressure. What you wanna do when you're using a brush with pressure, which is what my script brush is, it works differently than one of the monoline brushes in that you press down when you want a thicker stroke. So you're going to, if you're following this up here, let's zoom out a little bit just so you can see it. You're going to go up with a thin stroke, down with a thick stroke, up with a thin stroke, down with a thick stroke. So what you're doing here is you're just lightening up the pressure. So light pressure on your upstrokes, heavy pressure on your downstrokes. And then the opposite over here, except it's the same theory. You're going to go heavy pressure on your downstroke, light pressure on your upstroke, heavy, light heavy, light, and you can go all the way across here. So what I did is I gave you a black version with the red arrows that show you the flow of how it should be. I give you a few lower opacity versions for you to trace over, and then I give you enough space to finish out the line by yourself. So if you're on this line and you wanna keep going, you can just keep on practicing your strokes all the way over, so on and so forth. Same with this, heavy, light, heavy, light, whoop, not like that. 
and it's two finger tap for undo, three finger tap for redo. If you don't already know that, heavy, light, heavy, light. Okay, now we're jumping down to the next one, which is this is always going to be light on your upstrokes, heavy on your downstrokes. And these are just different ways of getting your muscle memory ready for practicing these strokes when you're lettering or when you're doing flourishes or anything like that. So I'm going to go back into my brush. I'm over here. We're going light, heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, light, and so on and so forth. For this one, we're going again, heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy pressure, light pressure. So that's what the, we're going to go all the way down with these. And again, you're, you can keep practicing across. These are just keeping you in line for your, um, this is called your cap height if you're doing a lettering guide. So I'm just giving you a, an easy cap height so that you can make sure that you are creating uniform marks across. So for this one, I split up the line. So you're going to go light stroke or light pressure up, heavy pressure down, light pressure up, heavy pressure down. Same for down here. Light pressure on the slant, heavy pressure down. This is a, this line here is very good for starting to practice letters like um, H and B when you're doing cursive because you do a light, a light pressure up and a heavy pressure down. So loops like that, this gets you ready for doing shapes like this. So on he, on these, you're just getting ready, you're just getting used to muscle memory, light, heavy pressure, light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure, heavy pressure. And it doesn't have to be that thick if you don't want it to be. Again, you can change the brush stroke over here if you'd like to make it thinner. But if you want to follow along with the way that I have my shapes filled out, this is the brush, this is the size. Same for this one. So you're going light on the upstroke, heavy on the loop, light on the upstroke, heavy on the loop, on here, and so on and so forth. Down here for the O shape, I start up here at the top. I go down with a heavy pressure and then up with light. So down and then up down and then up and you want those to connect you don't want any harsh bumps where if you were doing like an o you would go with like this and then have like a weird loopy here unless you were going for a funky font which is entirely up to you again but if you're going for a seamless aesthetic you want to make sure that you're closing those loops cleanly so this is an easy way to start practicing how to use the script brush or any brush that has the pressure function in it and then I'm going to quickly show you the other lettering guide that I put in here, which is a blank one. And I'm going to show you that one with the rainbow version of this brush. So I'm going to go into this layer. I'm going to hide these two. I'm going to go up into the actions menu, go into insert a file. I'm going to create, or I'm going to pick the brush stroke blank, which is the same one we were just using. It just doesn't have all the preset stuff on it. Turn that off. We're going to go into the script rainbow file which I have in a different place. So you're picking the Lobo rainbow. Remember to always create a second layer so that you're not layering on top of the guide itself. You can always lock that guide if you wanna make sure that you never touch it just by swiping left and picking lock. And now we're gonna go into the script brush rainbow again, and you want this to be set at a color. The rainbow brush will not work correctly if you set it at black. So I'm going to set it at, let's go with like a really pretty blue color. Um, brighten that up. Let's do this. Okay, so now I am on my clean layer. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so you can see it. I'm still at script brush size eight. I'm going to be going over these lines. I'm just going to do the same thing I did in the last lesson. So we're going light on the upstroke, heavy on, whoop, too big. See how that works? I forgot to resize. Size eight, not size gigantic like that one. Light on the upstroke, heavy on the downstroke. Light upstroke, heavy downstroke. Light upstroke, heavy downstroke. And you see how the colors are changing as I'm pressing harder? So the way that the script brush works is it will adjust based on your pressure and it also adjusts based on the color that you have selected. So if I switch it to red, you'll see a mixture of it's starting at red and shifting over to other colors. So the script brushes or the script brush rainbow is very fun if you want to create cool digital looks. It doesn't vectorize well though, so make sure that if you are vectorizing, you're doing this in true black. So you're going to go light and heavy. That's not cute. Light and heavy pressure, light and heavy pressure, light and heavy pressure. Same, so on and so forth, all the way down. 
I'm gonna switch back into the black just so that you can see it a little bit better. Again, heavy pressure down, light pressure up, heavy pressure down, light pressure up. And you can practice those drills a few times just to get your muscle memory down. And then next week, I'm going to put out a tutorial that is a practice guide for hand lettering. And I'm going to include the lowercase and uppercase alphabet in my hand lettering style. So I hope that was helpful in showing you how to use my script brush or the script rainbow brush along with my new lettering guides to practice your muscle memory and get your brush strokes as smooth as possible. And that concludes this tutorial. As always, feel free to join us in the Glow Create group for additional tips and tricks on how to use Procreate and Adobe Illustrator beyond the screen to turn your digital items into physical products. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified of future tutorials, please hit the like button and subscribe below. Until next time, this is Heather Lynn of Lobo Design signing off. I'll holla at you later.